My name is Josie Spar, and my research question is how does the consumption of ultra-processed foods lead to obesity in children and adolescents in the United States? My whole social media is filled with health-related topics such as nutrition, working out, meal prepping, anatomy and physiology, psychology, etc. I came across a video that touched on the topic of how ultra-processed foods contain harmful ingredients such as high fructose corn syrup, flavoring agents, and emulsifiers. The younger that children consume these toxic ingredients, the more chemical imbalances they'll have as they get older. The video explains that when a child <clears throat> grows up eating a lot of processed foods, they have a lower preference for non-processed foods because it doesn't release the same amount of neurochemical reward. This video is not a reliable source because there is no scientific evidence backing up their statements and that the person speaking does not have their credentials uploaded. The article I chose is a reliable source from Google Scholar because it is peer-reviewed and from the National Library of Medicine, written by multiple authors who attended the Friedman School of Nutrition. The article title is The Effect of Reducing Ultra-Processed Food Consumption on Obesity Among U.S. Children and Adolescents Aged 7 to 18. There has been a massive increase in the obesity rate in the United States. The standard diet has shifted to include large amounts of ultra-processed foods, which again are made from manufactured ingredients such as flavor enhancers and colors that have zero nutritional value. The study used 5,804 subjects within the ages of 7 to 18 years old from the United States. Those who consumed under 500 calories and over 5,000 calories were excluded from this experiment. The method that they used was a micro simulation model to project the effect of reducing ultra processed food consumption in children's diets. The model incorporated nationally representative data on body mass index percentile and dietary intake of those 5,804 children. It also examined the effect of reducing ultra processed food consumption on calorie intake from a recent randomized control trial. The general, general results were that reducing ultra-processed foods in children's diet estimated in a decrease in total daily calories of 276. The average weight loss in children was 5.12 kilograms, and the average BMI reduction was 2.09. These factors led to an overall reduction in overweight children by 16.1%, dropping the rates from 37 to 20.9%. And the overall obesity percentage was also decreased by 9.11%, dropping those rates from 20.1 to 11. In conclusion, ultra-processed foods have had a massive impact on the health of children. Children and adolescents aged 7 to 18 years old consume nearly two-thirds of their daily calories from ultra-processed foods. Due to this, obesity and BMI numbers have skyrocketed over the past few years. Based on these results of this randomized control trial, reducing ultra-processed foods in children's diets has a high potential of minimizing the obesity rates greatly. I chose this question because my mom is a co-founder of a charter school in Sunny Slope, Arizona. I work there part-time and the students have had a huge impact on my life. I want to be a role model and educate them on proper nutrition so that they can avoid health complications such as obesity. Majority of the students come from low-income families and usually don't get to eat when they go home. So I want to provide them with resources on how to get access to healthy food and to encourage them to prioritize their bodies. Thank you.